In this video, we will place a div element below the navigation bar to serve as a container for the main content of the web page. To add a main content area, place the cursor at the end of the line that has the div tag with the class nav applied to it, and press the Enter key to create a new line. Then, type opening bracket div space class equals quotation main quotation closing bracket. Then close it by typing opening bracket slash div closing bracket. To define a new class for the main content, click after the closing curly brace for the class nav and press the enter key to create a new line. And then type the CSS rule seen on screen. Next, a footer will be added to the bottom of the web page to help give some background information about the page and provide some useful links. To add a footer, place the cursor at the end of the line that has the div tag with the class main applied to it and press the enter key to create a new line. Then, type opening bracket div space class equals quotation footer quotation closing bracket then close it by typing opening bracket slash div closing bracket to define a new class for the footer click after the closing curly brace for the class main and press the enter key to create a new line then type the css code seen on screen The z-index affects the layering of the elements. With a z-index of 1, this element will appear in front of every other element on the web page that doesn't have a z-index defined.